game for both sides here. Pats in a title race and Longford Town, they're in the opposite, they're in a relega relegation battle. But the game is underway, long ball forward. That's how Plenty of options in there. Lewis chips it into the penalty area. And he's beaten in the air there, the Longford defender, and that's tipped over the bar by Lee Stacey. It was Paddy Barrett that got above, I believe it was Aaron McNally. Over this free kick now for Pats. Coughlin steps up, he strikes it well, and that's a brilliant save from Lee Stacey, his second big save of the game so far. Superb save from Lee Stacey. Away by O'Driscoll, here's Alfie Lewis. Lewis chips it into the area. Robbie Benson's onside, Longford have switched off, and that's saved by Lee Stacey. Longford almost caught napping there. The pond as well. It's John Mountley to take this co corner. It's whipped in towards the front post. Robbie Benson rolls. Here is Coughlin. Oh, it's a good touch from Coughlin. Will it break? Appeals for a handball. I don't think that'll be anything more than a corner. Indeed, that's what it is. Coughlin looks lively, Tony. He looks very, very lively. And again, it, it's uh, similar to the situation in the Pats box. You're never going to get a penalty awarded for that. So again, it'll be John Mountney to take this set piece for St. Pats and Everyone essentially inside the six yard box. Oh, and that was again met by Paddy Barrett at the back post, but he was Forrester. Forrester wastes no time and winds it up, gets it into the area. O'Driscoll. It'll break here to Alfie Lewis, who chips it to the back post. Free man at the back post is Matty Smith, and it hits the net, but thankfully for Longford, it's off the wall behind the goals and into the side net, and a huge let off. Good ball to the back. I think Grimes is going to go direct with this one. We'll wait and see. Here it is, Grimes whips it in. Yaros gets a couple of gloves on it. And Pats can launch a counter-attack. Mountney raises his hand as a signal, whips it in. And the ball is in the back of the net. And it's Robbie Benson that wheels away with his hand in the air. St. Patrick's Adelaide, they've looked threatening throughout this first half from set pieces. And it's yet again a set piece that undoes Longford Town. They've conceded quite a number of those, not only this season, but indeed in the first division last year. It's been an Achilles heel. They haven't been able to get over. And it's uh, put Longford behind once again here tonight, Tony. Areas in that first half, particularly the fullbacks. Maybe this is a a, 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 um, a way of trying to pin in the likes of and, of John. And Callum Mackey Thompson and is very pacey as well. Yeah. Don't forget that season for yeah, Longford. Great time. to see him get his chance in the top flight. Yaros will have to be quick with his feet, and he's made a hash of that. Yaros. It'll fall to Rob Manley on the edge of the area. Can Manley get a shot away? Appeals for a penalty here, and a penalty awarded to Longford Town. A big, big mistake from, from the, the keeper, St. Pat's goalkeeper. Yeah. He sliced his clearance, the ball fell to Manley on the edge of the area, he took it down on his chest and carried it into the 18 yard area. He was brought down, it'll be a penalty to Lumford. It's not going to end there either, the referee's got his book out here. It's going to be a yellow card for uh, Alfie Lewis. Yeah, because it was Alfie Lewis that committed the foul on Rob Manley. It looked like Rob Manley had taken too long. The ball didn't come down for him, and then when he was about to pull the trigger, he got fouled by Alfie Lewis, but that all... Um, uh, that all uh, comes from the mistake by the young keeper Yaris. Of he course, slices his clearance. Longford Town won promotion at Richmond Park last season against Shells, and in that game they had a penalty. Rob Manley missed the penalty. It'll be Aaron Dobbs to take this one though. Yaros, five clean sheets this season. Is he about to concede an equaliser though at Bishopsgate? Aaron Dobbs steps up. And he scores 1-1 one, one at Bishopsgate. 47 minutes on the clock, and Aaron Dobbs is on the score sheet for Longford. Yeah, cool finish from the penalty spot from Aaron Dobbs, sending Yaris the wrong way. But that goal, we, we talked about Longford Town conceding goals through defensive mistakes, but that was a, a bad goalkeeping error. He sliced his attempted clearance, it bounced up on him. He sliced the clearance, it just spun up. Struggle to get that one out from under his feet. It's headed back into danger area by Desmond. It breaks the way of Coughlin, and a save from Stacey once. Can he save it again? And Longford throwing bodies to keep the ball out of the net. And he also saved from Chris Forrester, so double. Is it's leading to an open and attacking game though. Forrester with a volley, saved by Stacey, rebound to Smith. And that's another goal on a plate for opposition this season. It's a really poor defence. Aaron Robinson, the culprit there from a Longford Town perspective. Poor clearance and uh, St. Patrick's Athletic capitalised on it. So. Another defensive mistake leading to a goal by Longford Town. Yeah, poor clearance from Robinson, but credit to Forrester. The ball was, was pinged at him and he managed to take the ball under his spell. He gets a nice volley away, at least Stacey saves it. But Matty Smith, the right place at the right time to stick the ball into the back of the net and perhaps slightly against the runner play. Longford. We'll get a look at the replay here.
Benson did his level best to take that one under his spell. Ball was still alive. It came back across. I thought Forrester might hit it first time, but it's a, a crucial block from Aaron O'Driscoll. Didn't spot that. Mountney plays one up the line. It's a good ball from Mountney as well. Here's Ronan Coughlin. Cuts back. Waits for support. It's chipped into the back post. Matty Smith! Oh, and it's just over the bar from Smith. Back pass. Especially after the, uh, the mistake he made a little bit earlier on, Yaros. But he's recovered well from it, to be fair to him. Oh, that's a good cr cross into the area. And there's Ronan Coughlin headed into the back of the net. And it's 3-1 to St. Pat. Surely that's all she wrote. And Ben McCormick. He's had a big impact off the bench this evening, not for the first time. We mentioned it earlier, the assist he got against Derry City. Well, he can add this one to his scrapbook. A good cross from Ben McCormick. And he's had a couple of other dangerous crosses that uh, led to yeah. good opportunities, which weren't available, but that one definitely was. Here's the replay. Ronan Coughlin directs the ball past Lee Stacey. Good goal from St. Pat's. By a greater winning margin of just a single goal. And uh, that is the, the final whistle, St. Pat's simply too good for Longford Town tonight. Longford did get back into this one in early on in the second half. They uh, converted a penalty through Aaron Dobbs, but in the end, St. Pat's just showed that little bit too much class for Longford. Longford didn't help themselves at the time. That mistake from Aaron Robinson, Chris Forrester with the shot, it was saved by Lee Stacey, tucked away by Matty Smith, but after that one, Pat's got a keen hold on things, and they run out deserving yeah, 3 they, winners. They, over the 90 minutes, they deserved the victory, Kieran, it has to be said, and uh, well-merited three points.